Hey everybody, this is Stefan from Lush and Salty Aquariums. Thank you for your patronage. Please do subscribe if you like this content. Uh, and I certainly like this tank. It's my five gallon or one of my five gallon nano tanks, heavily planted as per usual. Its primary species is the lovely but shy Celestial Pearl Danio, which I adore because they look just like teeny tiny brook trout. And I will go in closer and we'll find them. There's also a ton of uh, cherry shrimp and some of the red ram's horn snail variety, which I like as well. Japanese clover starting to grow up and over. Um, Anubius petite doing well in the center, very little algae. Um, some moss that I have sitting on the rock and in the back for the shrimp. Um, I've got a little sword plant as well as this. Um, I think it's either a kind of a sword or a kind of a nubius, I forget. But what's really cool is off the top of this leaf, another plant is growing, which a number of tropical plants do. I'm going to literally pull that right off in the coming days and I can plant it elsewhere. You see all the cherry shrimp here, there, and everywhere. And there is a celestial pearl danio. Now we're going to sit here idle. There they are. There's a school back there. Don't they look like little trout? So cool. So pretty. Hello, shrimp but they're shy, so they're out when I'm not here with the camera. But what can I tell you? I'm trying to make a video. But you get the idea of their habitat. They're a delightful fish, really. Shyness is not the worst quality for a fish. And they're non-aggressive. They certainly don't go after the shrimp. There's a couple moving through. How you doing, buddy? It's possible they could breed in here, uh, more than possible, but I don't do anything to cultivate that. There we go, now we're getting, now we're seeing what I see. Look at how pretty that is. Oh my gosh. I hope you agree anyway. Hello, shrimp. There's a good look. So I love keeping lush freshwater tanks. It's such a great alternative to the uh, reef system that I also adore, so I couldn't decide which, so I do both. These are frogbit. They uh, create those delightful root systems that everything in the tank appreciates. Also absorbs nutrients from the water, helps filter it. Um, fish can breed and reproduce in there. The shrimps hang out in there. There's a big adult cherry shrimp right in the center. Um, moving down, 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 down. Oh my gosh. Some simple river rock. That's a nearite snail. A great algae eater. That's one of my pygmy Corydora. They're super tiny. You can keep them in uh, very small tanks. There's a friend of his. In groups, of course, there's a ram's horn snail. Now you see the brown and the red and why the red is more desirable. Hello. Anyway, I hope you made it through this whole video so you could see the actual fish. And here's the tank in a wide shot. So much life for such a small space. Um, I hardly ever put my hands in this tank. It's really self-sufficient in so many ways. I have a small hang on back filter, an inexpensive uh, nano light, any of the ones at Petco, Aquion has one, Fluval has one. They all will work and easy plants like this. It's not a problem, no CO2 in this tank, not a problem. Um, very little algae, if any. So I'm very, very happy with this tank. What do you think? Okay, everybody, until next time, 
Even if it's not the case with this aquarium, always keep your hands in the tank.